11th December 2021 Morning Murli Om Shanti Baptada Madhupan Sweet children at this time you are wonderful spiritual pilgrims you have to become free from disease for 21 births by staying on this pilgrimage question what is not useful in the golden age but is useful to the father on the path of devotion answer the key to divine vision there is no need for the ski in the golden age when the path of devotion begins god has to grant the devotees visions in order to please them the ski is useful to the father at that time this is why the father is called bestower of divine vision the father gives your children the sovereignty of the world but not the key to divine vision song to leave you you are lean and to die in your lean om shanti you sweetest spiritual children heard the song in english ruhani bachche it's spiritual children spiritual father and spiritual children you spiritual children know that souls don't have bodies there in the soul world and that this is why there can't be any conversation there there can be conversation or talking between souls when both are in bodies here souls have their own bodies however the knowledgeful spiritual father doesn't have a body of his own he is incorporeal you children understand that souls in the land of peace are bodiless just as the father is bodiless without an image so you souls too are without bodies there this is something to be understood it is said that you came naked means bodiless and that you have to return bodiless that is you won't have any costume of a body there when souls are in the land of peace they are bodiless they are in peace the spiritual father is now giving you knowledge no one else in the whole world is the spiritual father all others are physical fathers the spiritual father himself says i am bodiless at the time of speaking i have to take the support of a body although it is mentioned in the scriptures i take the support of matter the father explains this body is anyway made of matter i take the support of an ordinary body the spiritual father is called the spiritual surgeon because he teaches remembrance that is yoga through which you souls become ever free from disease you will not have any disease for 21 births then when it is the kingdom of maya we became diseased the father comes and makes us free from disease for 21 births the father is also called the guide and he teaches us the pilgrimage we are wonderful spiritual pilgrims no other human being knows the spiritual pilgrimage it is always said bharat in particular and the world in general we are especially taught this spiritual pilgrimage who teaches it the spiritual father human beings have been going on physical pilgrimages for birth after birth some even go on a pilgrimage too for four times in one birth it would be said that that is the pilgrimage of living beings whereas this is the pilgrimage of souls this matters have to be understood very clearly make your intellects remember baba while you are walking and moving along and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination while in remembrance of baba we will go to the father the spiritual father is teaching you spiritual children this pilgrimage the term manmana bhav it's mentioned in the gita but no one understands the meaning of it the father says remember me and your sins will be absolved what will happen then 
Your children know that by having remembrance, you will become Satapradhan from Tamapradhan. At this time, all are Tamapradhan. The whole tree is totally decayed. How can souls become Satapradhan? How can we return home? Only pure souls live there. While adopting bodies here, they go through the stages of Sato, Rajo and Tamo. Everything goes through these stages. They even sing, the world is changing. This is called the old Iron Age world and the new world is called the Golden Age, Satyuk. This should remain in the intellects of your children. When it was the Golden Age, there was the original eternal deity religion. That religion doesn't exist now. The main religions are Deityism, Islam, Buddhism and Christianity. It is explained about the ages that there are four main ones. However, this confluence age of Brahmins is incognito. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul comes and establishes the Brahmin deity and war religions. Your children have to remember all of these things and connect your intellects in yoga with the Father. The main thing is to become a conqueror of sin. We truly wear Satopradhan and pure. We truly wear 24 karat gold and then when we became Sato, we became 22 karat gold. Then we became Rajo and we are 18 karat gold. And by becoming Tamo, we became 9 karat gold. There are degrees of carats in gold. This also applies to souls. Just as a buzzing moth catches dirty insects and makes them the same as herself. So you also buzz knowledge and change humans into deities. Moths catch insects and make them sit in solitude. The moths have so much wisdom. According to the drama, your souls also have parts recorded in you. You know that you heard spiritual knowledge from the spiritual father in the previous cycle. You will hear it every cycle. It is nothing new. Only the father can explain this. The seed knows the tree. The father comes and makes you Trikali Darshi. He gives you the knowledge of all three aspects of time. He adopts you while alive. A Kumari is also adopted while alive and made into a wife. Prajapita Brahma does not have a wife. This one is adopted. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul adopts you through Brahma. You say, this is our Baba and the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, also says, you are my children. That Shri Baba is spiritual and Prajapita Brahma, Dada is physical. How could the spiritual father speak knowledge unless he enters a body? Only the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is called knowledgeful. Any type of knowledge is always kept in the souls. Even worldly knowledge is studied by souls. However, because of being Tamapradhan, no one is able to remain soul conscious. You are becoming soul conscious at this time. Thus things will not be explained in the golden age. It is at this time that the father says, consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father because the burdens of sins that are on your heads at this time have to be removed. You call out to the Father at this time. Come and purify the impure. Souls have become impure and tamapradhan and this is why they remember the Father. None of the devotees know that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is a point. A temple dedicated to a point cannot be built. It wouldn't seem right. Firstly, they make a shivalingam, but then referring to visions, they say that he is brighter than thousand suns. Is the shivalingam that bright? As they have described Arjuna saying, he had a vision of a very bright form and said that he wasn't able to tolerate it. People have heard these words. Here too, many had visions 
and the beginning they used to say stop it i am unable to tolerate it their eyes would pick him red they thought that they had had a vision of god who gave them that vision krishna did not grant that vision shri baba granted that vision he is called the bestower of divine vision the father says i cannot give your children the key this is something that is only useful to me on the path of devotion there is no need for it in the golden age you will have become worthy of worship from worshipers the father says i give you your fortune of the kingdom of the world and then i go and sit in my supreme abode i don't become worthy of worship or a worshiper your children have now become sensible it can be understood from someone's behavior how sweet he is and how he has imbibed divine virtues very well so many topics are created you should keep a note of all the topics that baba gives today baba will explain about pilgrimages there are two types of pilgrimages this is a number one topic on the path of devotion all human beings take you on physical pilgrimages there are no physical pilgrimages on the path of knowledge yours is a spiritual pilgrimage the father explains that you will become sato pradhan from tamo pradhan through this pilgrimage a soul cannot go home without becoming pure all souls continue to come down here no one returns home you can also explain to the government in the golden age when there was the kingdom of the deities they had one son and one daughter and in that too through the power of yoga now just think about how few human beings there will be in the golden age the dynasty that continued was of the perfect viceless lakshmi and narayan therefore they must definitely have had a son since we are able to become the masters of the world through the power of yoga can we not have children through the power of yoga this is fixed in the drama because of being pure they have a vision that they are going to have a baby and they have that happiness there is no question of vice people ask you how children will be born there tell them male and female papaya trees next to one another bear fruit if that male and female are not next to one another they won't bear fruit it is a wonder so what could children not be born there through the power of yoga there is also the example of the peacock and pigeon that is called the national bird she conceives through tears of love that is not wise bharat was the shiv temple and shiva ba created it ravan has now made it into a brothel although they celebrate shiva's birthday no one knows ravan's birthday no one knows anything about ravan and dashera they create an effigy of ravan and then burn it your children know that ravan the five vices is not to be burnt with those five works you conquer him with the power of yoga and only baba comes and teaches you this yoga he says may you be yogi may you be holy in the gita the term manmana bhav it's mentioned remember me only through this pilgrimage will you go to the land of peace you will then go to the land of immortality when people go on a pilgrimage they remain pure those who go to kashi remain pure but those who live at kashi don't remain pure here in the kingdom of ravan the interaction is between impure ones there is the interaction is of the pure with the pure nevertheless you still have to come down baba has explained that for half the cycle it is the day and for the other half the night this relates to brahmins it is brahmins who then became deities where did lakshmi and narayan come from in the new world they didn't battle with anyone they show a great war 
but nothing of its results. It is said, there were the five Pandavas. How many Pandavas are all of you? You are spiritual guides. You know that everyone now has to return home. Baba comes to take everyone back home. He is the supreme guide, the liberator. He liberates you from Maya and takes you back with him. The guide who takes you back with him is definitely needed. Keep does things very well in your intellect. Those scriptures are already printed and anyone can go and read them. Only the father gives this knowledge. There is no question of reading scriptures. You listen to the father and am by it. Number one is the pilgrimage of remembrance. For it is through this that you will become pure. No one else can explain the history and geography to you. You are very weak and sting on this pilgrimage. It is in remembrance that there are obstacles. Knowledge is very easy. The father says, this is the cycle of the drama and it has four equal parts. If its duration were hundreds of thousands of years, the number of human beings would increase so much. The government also says that there should be no more births. But this is only the father's task. All those people continue to find physical methods. But this method of father's is spiritual. The father says, I come to destroy the innumerable religions and to establish the one religion. Only in the golden age, not here, can there be one direction. None of them consider themselves to be brothers. The father explains many methods to your children. Keep a list of topics with you. Every topic is first class. Baba says, your children must not talk too much. Simply say, Shri Baba says, I am the father of all souls. I am the supreme soul. I am called God. No human being can be called God. The topic of the spiritual pilgrimage and physical pilgrimages is very good. Physical pilgrimages take place in the land of death and this is the land of death. Whereas that is the land of immortality. Your children became the father's helpers every cycle. This is why you are sweet spiritual children. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children. Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and cut morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point. Become sensible yourself and make others the same. Keep your behavior very royal and sweet. Second point. Remain engaged on the spiritual pilgrimage. Keep a list of good topics with you. Turn the ocean of knowledge on each topic. Blessing. May you be truly loving and reveal the inbound form of the Father and yourself by remaining stable in your inner form. Explanation. The children who remain stable in their inner stage, those who are introverted by being stable in their inner form, cannot become engrossed in anything else. They cannot be deceived by the old world, relations, wealth or physical positions, which are all temporary and showy. By remaining stable in your inner form, your incognito form of power will be revealed and with this form, the father will be revealed. Those who carry out such an elevated task are truly loving. Slogan Keep the pride and honor of your faith and godly birthright and you will not get distressed. Om Shanti 